Hi everybody, welcome back. We're gonna do another episode, kind of a part two to the one, how I learned to stop worrying and love ferric chloride. But this time, this one's muriatic acid. So I got this knife, it's all covered with scale. That's a pain in the ass. It's, it's real hard on your belts and your files and your all sorts of stuff and it makes your cleanup easier. I'm all about efficiency and manufacturing processes. So this saves me time and saves me just a little bit of money here and there. Well, let's do it. So, all we gotta do, let's see if I can do this. Okay, always make sure something's not hot. More shop safety rule. We're walking over, walking, walking, walking. Take the lid off. Seat, not water, muriatic acid. Written in my wonderful handwriting. So, let's take this. Ooh, it's green. I wonder if this is what the Hulk drinks. And maybe he's like a flamingo. He just drinks the muriatic acid, and that's what, why he's green. He's not actually green because of the gamma rays. So anyway, um, started to go off on a tangent and walked away from what I was doing. Now, take that off. We're just going to let it sit in there. i got a couple other projects kind of dissolving. See all the scale at the bottom? This stuff works great. It takes about an hour, maybe an hour and a half, compared to vinegar, which is overnight, and I'm lazy, and I don't want to have to smell vinegar. Uh, I think this is about... 50-50 mix muriatic acid to water. And I wouldn't do much more than that. You can if you want. But another thing to keep in mind with this is to keep it ventilated. I, I believe it's hydrogen sulfide gas that comes off of this, and that's not good for you. I leave it right next to my door, so there's lots of fresh air. And I don't ever snap the lid down. I just leave it just a little itty bitty tiny gap. Just like that. So the gases can get out. But this also keeps the bugs out and keeps the dogs from drinking it. That would be not a good time. Anyway, I'll check back in in about an hour, maybe an hour and a half, and I'll show you how well it works. Doodles. All right, so it's been about an hour. Let's check this out. Take the lid off. Ooh, look at it. There we go. See, the scale just gets eaten off quite nicely. I think that's probably pretty close to being good. We'll give it a little slosh. Oh my god, I should be wearing safety glasses. Much of this stuff in your eyeball feels great. There we go. Ooh, that's kind of a cool finish. I'll have to make one for myself with that kind of finish. That's cool. Kind of Mordor-esque. That'd be fun. All right, so after this, I've got to get all that off of there. I'm going to come over here. I should have planned ahead. Set that knife there. I don't think it's going to hurt wood. This is my my tube of baking soda and water. The neutralizing agent. Let's find something to stir it up with. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. That was lovely, wasn't it? Hmm. It's in my junk pile. Lovely, lovely old junk pile. I think this will do just fine. Some old. You guys trying to make a tent steak and it just bent and I got mad. Oh well. Always works better if you heat it up. Stirring, stirring, stirring. GE, good enough. Whoop, throw that to the side. Grab this by the end. See it foam up. Slosh that off a little bit. Set that up here. Grab it by this end. Do the other end, kind of slosh it off a little bit. That's all it takes. And it will rust if you don't clean it up right away. But I'm gonna dry this off. Whoosh. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna set it down. That really got gypped on that third arm. That's so annoying. It's got this microfiber cloth. So we're just gonna kind of pat it dry. caught on that corner. There we go, look at that. Most of that scale came off. Set it down here. Set it down here. I'm just probably getting motion sick. The magnets bit it. Bunched it between the legs.
focus. There you go. Not too shabby. Now I'm going to go throw it in the oven and temper it. This is 80 CRV, so I'll probably do it about 420 degrees for about 90 minutes. I might do a second a cycle of it. We'll see. Depends on how lazy I feel. And I think 90 minutes at a good, good soak for a little thin knife like this should be okay. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Or let me know any of the weird facts you know about muriatic acid, because I really just don't know enough about it. I know it's pretty caustic, and they use it to balance out the pH levels in a pool. And if you throw, what is that stuff called? Uh, steel wool into it, it'll make ferric chloride. And that's pretty much the extent of it. Anyway, you guys have a great night. Auf Wiedersehen, tschüss, and goodbye.